everyone and welcome. My name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and today we are doing my spooky scary skeletons readathon TBR. <laughs> So in case you missed it, it is the Spooky Scary Skeletons Readathon in the month of October coming up now and I'm going to share with you the books that I plan on reading for this TBR. Hi! I will also have the TBR videos of other co-hosts linked down below as well as Nicole from Nicole's Book Nook who is the one who runs this whole thing so if you need more inspiration or some of the books I list here you maybe have already read then you can check out other people's videos as well but these are the books that i'm gonna read so if you need help for some of the prompts maybe this can help you so for the first prompt it is to read a classic horror thriller a classic horror book classic being something that's 30 years or older and so for this for this i'm actually gonna go with dracula i was supposed to read this for class like years ago and i started it but i never actually finished it but I really do want to finish it. I just, I think I hit a dry spot in the book. So this year I want to pick this up and I want to finish reading it. So this will be my classic horror book. And then the second prompt is a book about a se serial killer and this can be fiction or nonfiction. And so I'm actually gonna go with Magic Lies and Deadly Pies by Misha Pop. This is obviously a fiction book, it's, it's fairly, it's not true. It is about a woman who kills people through her baked goods. So the first time she killed someone with a pastry was an accident, but then she develops a reputation, and now she goes after the bad people on the streets through her baked goods. It's I've got a lot of like thriller horror books on this TBR, but I've got a couple on here that will give me a break. So this is much more of a lighthearted serial killer book, if you will. <laughs> the third prompt is and I don't I don't think I'm going through these prompts in order and you don't have to read them in order which is another beautiful thing about this read on readathon but the third prompt that I am addressing is to read a book with orange on the cover or in the title for this I am going with mother daughter murder night by Nina Simone this is about a grandmother a mother and a daughter the daughter gets accused for a murder of a body that she found so grandma and mom are gonna go and prove her innocence. So it's not a lot of orange, but there aren't really too many thriller books with orange on them. So this is one that I recently picked up that I'm excited to read, so. The next prompt is to read a book with ghouls or ghosts, and this can include pretty much anything that you would consider a ghoul. So. The first book that I have for this is Vespertine, and this is by Margaret Rogerson. This is like kind of a nun necromancy type book that I just got the audiobook for, so I'm really excited to read this. So I'm not super sure this really falls under the realm of ghost. I It's one of those things where I just have to read the book and find out, but just in case it doesn't have any ghosts or ghouls or anything in it, I do have a backup book. And that is Where the Briars Sleep by Emma Beaven. This for sure is a ghost. This is a haunting, like a haunted house. So I will at least have this one to read just in case Vespertine doesn't have any or I have extra time. The next prompt is where the main character is a witch. And again, I am assuming that The Coven by Harper L. Woods is about witches considering it's a coven and yeah. So I'm very sure that this gorgeous book is going to be about witches, but I do have another backup for this as well. I don't even know much about what this book is for. It was kind of a cover buy, not gonna lie. But yeah, it's, it's coven politics and coven drama. But like I said, I do have a backup book just in case, or really if I have time, maybe another book that just is all my spooky TBR that I wanna talk about is The Witch and the Vampire. It is a sapphic, romance that is about a witch and a vampire need I say more so there's also this one that I could read also if I'm like not in the mood for the coven because I think it'll be quite a bit darker if I want something lighter I can always do this romance too so 
I'm giving myself options, okay? Now this next one is a book that is set during or around Halloween time. So what I'm going to do for this is actually The Kiss Curse. I read the first book before this. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was like The X-Hex. I'm not sure. Um, but I know that this book takes place on Halloween slash around time leading up to and then on Halloween. And again, it's another lighter book that I can read in between some of my thrillers. And it is the second book in a series, although I they're more like companions. I don't think you need to read them in order, but that is what I will be picking up for the Halloween. The next prompt is a thriller by an author that is new to you. So I will be doing The September House, and this is by Carissa Orlando. Never heard of her before, hadn't heard of this book. I know it is a haunted house book, and it it's the September house. I wanted to read it in September, but I just didn't quite get to it. So I will try and read it probably first thing in October. Um, this could double for the orange cover prompt as it is pretty reddish orange, but I wanted to have at least one book set aside for each prompt, even though quite a few of these could double up um, just in case I need to. But if I have the time, I also want to read this. Then the final prompt is to read a book with a black cover. Some of these books, their covers are very black and so they could always double up. But for this one, I have two options. The one that I really want to read is This Delicious Death by Kayla Cottingham. I actually started this a couple years ago and I just, life happened and I never really got to continue reading it, but it is mostly a black cover just with the little design on it. So. This is what I'm going to prioritize for that prompt. Otherwise, like I said, a lot of the other books qualify, but my backup for this prompt is also Horror Movie by Paul Tremblay. Again, this is a much like blacker cover. There is less on the cover, making it more black. Yeah, we'll see if I can get to this as well. Otherwise, it'll just be a bonus. So, so those are all the books that I plan to read for the Spooky Scary Skeleton readathon this October. Again, I have my announcement video and Nicole's announcement video and all the TBR videos from the hosts who have them up. So if you're a host and you're watching this video and I don't have it linked, please comment it down below. I feel like I'm one of the last hosts to put up my TBR video, so hopefully like everybody else has theirs out. But seriously, if it's not there, comment down below. Even if you're not a host, feel free to just comment your TBR video down below as well if you're participating. And if you are participating, you can also leave me just a little spooky emoji in the comments, some sort of spider web or jack-o'-lantern or something fun to get into the spooky fall vibes. Um, if you like bookish content, I am posting every week, so you should hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when those videos do go up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That way you can let me know. I also have other bookish social media linked down below so you can follow me there and keep more up to date with what I am reading. And as of right now, I'm actually reading uh, What Once Was Mine by Liz Braswell, which is a Twisted Tales, a Disney Twisted Tales book. It is what if Rapunzel's mom drank... Uh, from the wrong flower. So not the sunflower, but the moonflower. So that is what I'm currently reading and what I'm hoping to get done, uh, hopefully before this video goes up when it's October and spooky season commences. So yeah, again, hit the like, subscribe, comment down below, all that jazz. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy spooky reading. Mm -hmm.